So we just have to laugh it up. Not to worry. Let's start. We're going to close our eyes. Relax down into your chair as you lift that sternum up. Drop the shoulders down. Let's smile. It's a beautiful day. Just let go of all the outside concerns. Let go of all the tension and tightness that you might have brought to your chair today. And now let us connect to the yogic breath. Begin to inhale through the nose, breathing all the way up to the sternum. Soft, smooth, cool breath in, life force. And exhale all the way out and down towards that belly button. Notice the warm air leaving the body. So nice, nourishing, cool air coming in through both nostrils, filling your lungs up. And warm air going out, all the way down. Hmm. We are going to do some alternate nostril, nostril breathing because in sitting in a chair like this, we're very comfortable. Our, our spines are lifted, our, the chest is open. So you will make a soft fist with your right hand. Take the index finger and the finger away, up here like so, and rest it on your forehead. Curl your little finger up the way and reuse the ring finger and the thumb. So I invite you now to be nice and quiet and it's a nice, smooth, slow breath in. So let's start. You're inhaling through both nostrils first, both nostrils. And exhale through both nostrils. Close the right nostril off with your thumb and breathe in through the left. Close the left with your ring finger and breathe out through the right nostril, all the way down. Breathe back in through the right and close it with the thumb, breathe out through the left. Keep your eyes closed, follow the breath in and out. Breathe back in through the left. Close it with the ring finger and breathe out through the right. Breathe back in through the right. Close it, breathe out through the left. Inhale through the left. Close it, breathe out through the right. We do one more round. Breathe back in through the right. Close it, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. And as you breathe out through the right, just drop your hand back to your lap. You keep your eyes closed. Exhale all the way out. And then connect to your yogic breath once again through both nostrils. Just staying still and calm for a moment to feel the effects of Nadi Shodhana. Alternate nostril breathing. Taking a breath now as you exhale, drop your chin, chin to your chest. Put your shoulders back to keep the spine nice and straight and drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. Pick up your right hand and rest the palm on your left temple. Remember to light assist, don't, don't use it to yank your neck over. And release the right hand back to your lap. Take your chin to your chest, nice and soft. And then take your left ear to left shoulder Pick your left hand up, take it across to the right temple. So the palm just rests on that right temple very lightly. Lifting up that spine, just connect to the breath, inhaling and exhaling. And then carefully re remove the hand back to your lap, drop your chin to your chest. And breathe the head back up to center. Open your eyes. Welcome again, everybody. I think some of you came in a little late. Uh, welcome to chair yoga today. Just following along, doing what you can. Let's go. Inhale those arms up. Stretch them up. Look up at the fingertips and come away from the back of the chair a little bit so you can do a slight back bend here. Exhale, fold forward. Let the chest come all the way down, resting on your thighs. Put your palms on the shins, just underneath your knees, and lift up your spine, coming into a flat back, meaning your nose is pointing down towards the, the ground, shoulders away from the ears, sternum away from the belly button. 
Exhale, fold down. Inhale, arms wide as we come up. Press down into the feet. Let's do this again. Exhale, fold. Big breath here. Coming up into the flat back. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms nice and wide. Exhale over to your right side. Drop your hands down. So your left hand crosses over the right thigh. Lift up your spine. Take a breath and as you exhale, now you're going to twist towards that right side. Drop the shoulders, lift the sternum. Chin is parallel to the floor, neck is nice and long. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and keep the breath going. Inhale, arms up, swing around to the other side. So now the right hand is by your left, left hand behind the chair. Lift up your spine, pull your shoulders back. Take a breath as you exhale, twist. You can use the hand that's on the back of your chair to press into the chair to give it that leverage to just swing that ribcage around. Neck is nice and soft, gaze of the eyes soft, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And slowly come back to center. Moving away from the Back of the chair, walk your feet out, but make sure that the knees and the ankles are in one line. Cat and dog stretches, hands on their thighs. Exhale, roll that table underneath you. Squeeze that tummy in and push the spine all the way back. Round those shoulders, drop that chin. Inhale, reverse it. Now come forward, pull the shoulders back, almost like you're coming to into a flat back here. Exhale, roll the table underneath you. So the palms pressing into your thighs is going to give you that leverage to pull that spine right back to the chair. Inhale, reverse it, shoulders go back. Lift that sternum, soft gaze out there. Exhale, roll the turntable underneath you. Inhale, reverse it, other way. Good. Press back towards the back of your chair and stack your vertebrae one on top of the other. Let's cross that right leg on top of your left thigh. Take your right arm bone, lean forward and gently press that right thigh down towards your chair. As you lean forward, the weight of the upper body with the arm bone is going to take that thigh down. You should feel a nice stretch, a nice opening in that right hip. You're coming forward here. Coming back up, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, stretch forward in a flat back and reach those arms so your upper arm is going to come over your shins. So stretch as much as you can over. Let the hands relax. Notice what is happening in that right hip. Drop the head down. Breathe. So you can inch those hands out there. Try to flatten the back a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice and feel the strong sensation up in the hip there. And then we're going to gently slide up. Sitting up nice and tall. Take your ankle off of the thigh if it's there. And let's flex that foot. Point your toes. Flex that foot. Point your toes. Flex and point. And then circle the foot to get into the ankle joint. And reverse it. Good. Now spread your toes and scrunch them up. Spread them. Scrunch them. One more. Spread them and scrunch. Good. Release this side and let's go for the other side. Cross over. Let the ankle be away from the thigh. And you want to take your arm bone and just and the weight of your upper body as you lean forward to gently press this thigh down. So you will feel it. It's a nice, strong sensation up in the crease there. So just try and bear with it. If it's too strong, you want to back off. If it's not strong enough, you lean more into it. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Coming back up to center. This is my tighter side. If you notice my knees higher here, tighter inside here. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, let's stretch forward in a good flat back here. Really reach out there. And then take the upper arms over towards the shins. And then stretch your back a little bit more. Drop the head down and use your breath. 
Breathe in, breathe out. If the muscles respond to the breath, to your oxygen, if you're deep, deep, coming deep into your lungs and going into the bloodstream, you may want to walk those hands down a little bit further. And on my other side, my fingers were almost to the floor, and this side is not. So I really am tight on this side. But I'm not thinking about it, and I'm not worried about it, and I'm not judging myself, and I'm not trying to change anything. Just accept where you are, folks and enjoy what we're doing here. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, and then slowly come up. Good. Lift up that spine nice and tall, and we will work the ankles. So let's begin. We're going to point those toes, nice strong point here, and flex, pushing the toes back towards their knee, sitting up tall. Point, and flex. Point, and flex. Point and flex and make circles for the ankles. Ooh, what a day! What a day! Right, and then we're going to spread the toes really nice and wide here. Scrunch them up, tighten, and spread and scrunch. One more, spread and scrunch. Good. And release that leg down. Okay. Come all the way to the edge of your chair. Walk your feet out. Turn those toes out. Take your arm bone once again. And press those thighs back. See? Like this. Push back into the thighs. Lift up your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drop the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Okay. We're going to be standing now. I have to take a moment to explain as we go along. So it's a little slow, but it's fine. So what I'm going to do is turn my chair this way. And if you can, everybody, turn your chair. So you're stepping, your, your back is to the back of your chair. So let's get our, ourselves there. Now walk over to one side of your chair so that the top of your hip here, your buttocks, is into the back of the chair here. So you have all of this here. Sorry. Step your this leg out. I'm sorry. It's the other side that goes into the back of the chair. So step as wide as you can. It is, it is actually that side. All right. I'm getting mixed up here. So the, the buttocks, this hip here, top of the hip, is to the, this side of your chair, the back here. You want all of this hair to be exposed. Now press the foot into the, the chair and your the buttocks here into the back of the chair. We are preparing for triangle, kind of little triangle here with a supported chair. So this is why the chair has to be on your mat so that it doesn't move and slide around. Arms out here, just stretch them. Okay, take a breath, you're pressing down into the feet, lean in to your for me, it's my left side. Keep your body pressed into the back of the chair. And then you're going to take the hand, your hand to the seat of the chair. I have a space here so I can go this way. Some of you may want, want to go back into the seat of the chair like this. Take a breath. Lean down into this. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Press into the back leg. For me, it's my right leg. So press down into that back leg, press your hand down into the seat of the chair, and use that chair now as you press back into the chair, into the back of the chair there, and then lift your arm up to the ceiling. Turn that chest up, look down to the ground if your neck bothers you, and push your body, your upper body back as far as you can. So having the chair as your little support here today, as your guide, we can really go deeper into the stretch here. So there we go. The cheek hair, the buttocks and the hip presses back into the back of the chair. Make sure your foot is on close to the chair as well. So that we can open up that body in triangle. So the top hip presses back. You're opening up that chest. Breathe in here. Make sure the neck is comfortable. Inhale. And exhale. 
Okay, drop the top hand, push off of the chair and very carefully, you can hold the top of your chair, lift yourself up. Oh, that's such a dynamic stretch. We're going to go to the other side. So all you may need to do is walk to the other side. Or if you want to turn a chair, you can. So now, the other leg that you're going to stretch out straight, the buttock, see here, this part here, should press back into this corner of your chair here. I'm getting ready for my other side, so here we go. We're in the triangle stance, and you know that stance quite well. So you're pressing back into the back of the chair. This leg here points this way a little bit, and the other toes go to the front, to the side wall. Arms up. Take a breath as you exhale, lean into that side. Take the hand down to wherever you like it on your chair. Same thing on this side. Notice if you come away from the chair. If the buttock sticks out like this and you're away from the chair, you want to press that buttock back into the chair. Push it into your chair. You have your hand here to hold you. And then open up your chest and take that arm up with you. Press into the feet. Squeeze up your kneecaps. Pull those thigh muscles into the thigh bone. And lean down so that your air goes towards that shoulder. And breathe in this dynamic stretch here. Trikonasana, the triangle. Connect to that breath. Notice and feel. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, one more breath. Push into the chair. Drop that hand, top hand down, and slide your way up. Hold it. Hold your chair. Bend your knees if you need to, and walk your feet in. Good. Just shake it out. Very nice. Come into the back of the chair. A little stretch here, you're going to walk back. You can judge your distance by holding on to the back of your chair. And your feet are parallel. Take a breath, soften your knees, drop your ears down towards the upper arms in here. And like for me here now, I can walk back a little bit more. Okay, so check yourself there. So your hands are just gently holding the chair. Push your buttocks back. So the crown and the table moving away from each other. Shoulders running down your back. The ears are up by your upper arms there. And you stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, slowly come back up to center. Hmm. Take your time to come up. Because you know your head has been low. So take your time. And then we're going to come and face the front of the chair. So stand back. Take a breath here. Inhale those arms up. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees. Just rest the palms lightly on the chair. Bend the knees. Fold all the way down. Drop that head all the way down. So take a breath. Come back up to center. Set your right foot up, so it goes straight underneath that chair, and the back leg goes back a little bit. Bend into that front knee, lift yourself up, press into the outer corner of the back leg, hips are square, inhale those arms up, for warrior one, drop the shoulders down, pull up through the core, arms are nice and straight here. So you can actually feel your knee pressing against the edge of your, the front of your chair there. Use that as a little support as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly lower down. Draw that foot back from underneath that chair a little bit. Lean forward, lift that back leg up. Hands can come onto the chair like this, square the hips to the mat. Drop the shoulders down and lift that leg as much as you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Swing that leg to meet the other leg. 
and roll yourself up. Let's get ready for the outside. So you want to walk back. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Come all the way down. Drop the head. Shake the head yes or no. Nothing happens there. And slowly round all the way back up. We're going to step the other leg up by the chair and the other one back. Bending into that front knee. Let the knee go against that chair. If it can, if that happens, it's fine to do that. Inhale those arms up. Oops. Good. In this really nice dynamic stretch here again. So by having all that nice support around, you can open up that hip. Press it into the chair. Breathe. Shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders down everybody, feel my lifting. I have to remind you as I feel it myself. Deep breath in and out. Okay, let's hold forward, hold the chair. Bring that foot out from away from the underneath of the chair a little bit so that when you come forward and lift that leg up, you're, you're very comfortable there. You can choose to let go of the chair you can choose to hold anywhere you want. You can put, if you have wrist problems or hands, just put the chair, your hands on the chair like so. Square the hips to the mat. Drop the shoulders, turn them away from the belly button. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale. And swing that leg up. And round all your way to standing. Good. From here, we're going to sit facing the seat of the back of the front of the chair, going into warrior two. So, slide one leg, doesn't matter which leg because we have to do both sides. Slide it so that your thigh is on the seat of the chair. Stretch that back leg right out. So the hip crease of the back leg is not to be on the chair. So see what I've done here? My thigh is resting on the chair, the knee is over the ankle, and please stretch that other leg out there. Arms up. Good, take a breath. You're going to drop your back hand to the back thigh, lift your front hand up just a little bit, look up to the fingers if you can, if not, just look out there, and make sure that we bent knee the leg is not sagging to the to the seat to the back of your chair it's to be pulled out to what's behind you all right again another deep stretch here breathing stretch up back leg the knees tight you're pushing down into the outer corner of that leg notice and feel here Good. Come back up to center. Take the front arm to that front thigh. Make sure you push it out. Inhale the other arm up. Switching the stretch here. Open the shoulders. Breathe. Let's go again. Swing in that back hand down that back thigh. Open up that front of the body. Breathe in. And switch. Shoulders back, sternum lifted. Stretch into that straight leg out there. And come back to center. Woo. Slide to the other side now, like this. Go in, so the camera, camera is okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so we stretch the other leg as you get that thigh right up on the chair so see there's this hip here is not on the chair at all the thigh crease up here is off the chair the leg that's on the chair you want to make sure it goes back to what's behind it's not the side to the front of the chair or to the back of your chair rather. arms out breathe drop the back hand Lift the front hand and lean just a little bit. You're doing this twice, so don't 
Don't overdo the first one. Concentrate on pressing down into the outer corner of that back leg. Good. Keep the bent knee that's on the, the, the thigh that's on the chair with the bent knee. Keep it pulling back to what is behind you. Come back to center and let's go the other way now. Stretch. Notice when you go this way, you can stretch that leg down a little bit more. So feel it coming out of that socket. Breathe in, breathe out. Again. Stretch. You can press the thigh and the sitting bones down into the seat of the chair. And get that great dynamic stretch here. And change. Open up that chest, lift it. Breathe, stretch. And release. Carefully slide that leg in. Look, take a moment here to sit quietly, breathe in, breathe out. Hmm. And we're going to come out of the chair. Hmm. Stand in the side of the chair. Let's do a little hip work here. Lifting that outer leg and circle it. So you go so, down and around. Let's do two in one direction and two in the other direction. So turn, let's do the other side. Lift up this leg, oops. And one, and two, and change it, one, and two. So come to the seat of the chair again. Put one heel all the way up on the chair as you walk back. Toes facing forward. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, fold forward. You can hold your foot, you can hold your chair anywhere you like to. Your standing knee can be slightly bent. In fact, I think you should all bend it a little bit. And then stretch forward. Lift that sternum away from the belly button. Shoulders are down. We're looking at the back of your chair. So the next thing is long. Breathe. Good. Slide up. And slide that leg up. Let's go for the other side. Heel on the chair. Standing leg right under the hip. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. We look down. You choose. Keep that back knee soft, sternum away from the belly button, and stretch. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Release. Slide the leg up. Good. And release it. Now, Turn, no, turn the other, turn your chair the other way, like this, you're going to turn it over, like this. So the top of the chair is here, and your feet, the feet are here. So everybody got that? So don't turn it any other way, this is the way you want to turn it. So that you get the seat of the chair facing you here. Now, when I press into this chair with my foot, I'm going to make a big noise. Anyway, so I'm just telling you, warning you from now, you might hear that big noise. So, turn to face the cat, to face me. And your inside leg, you're going to put it off the chair. Slide the other leg back. See the noise I was telling you about? Good. I'm trying to see if I can adjust it. Take a breath here. As you exhale, you want to bend into that knee. See what's happening here? The knee stays over the ankle. Walk that leg back. Inhale, arms out. Make sure that leg stays out. 
We're pulling up through the core, arms out here. Exhale, come forward, hold one of the, what do you call it, it's wrong of the chair, I don't know. Yeah, wrong? The wrong, the leg. wrong the leg, whatever, of the chair. Hold it, go right down and hold it. Keep the knee bent so it stays on top of the ankle. Inhale your back, this hand here can either go to the hip or it can go right up to the ceiling. So for me, I'm going to walk this back leg back a little bit so I get a little more stretch here. Alright, so this is what you want to do everybody. Breathe in, breathe out. Open that chest. Pull it up. Stretch. You feel that inner thigh? Bend the knee a little bit more. Bend the knee so it stays on top of the ankle. Inhale. Exhale. If you're not holding somewhere comfortable, you can go even deeper. See, I'm here now on that chair. So bend into that knee some more. I've gone deeper. So my hand is almost by the, or by the toes. Holding the chair like this. And so we can open up a little deeper. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze the shoulder blades back into the spine. Stretch. Press into the outer corner of that back leg. You want to almost feel that thigh is moving away from that hip. Yes. One more breath here, folks. Nice. Slowly lower that top hand. Hold the chair. Good. You're going to jump that back foot in. Face the chair. This way. Turn out to face your chair. I hope everybody's okay with this. Wish I could see you all. I hope you have the chair in the right place. Inhale, arms up. Good. Exhale, fold forward. We are going to prepare now for reverse triangle. So you're in the right spot here. Back toes turning a little bit like this. Draw the sternum again away from the belly button. Take your, for me it will be my right hand, because the left foot is on the chair, the opposite hand that's on the chair, and move it over to the side of the chair. Come forward. Begin to twist. Push your hip back, your rib cage. Turn. And you can raise that other hand up, that is okay for you today. You can leave it on your back. Just make sure that you're comfortable and steady. And because we have the chair, you can really, really twist around in this pose today. And you can stay for a little bit. So draw the top shoulder back. Hold the chair. Legs are nice and engaged. You're pressing into the back foot. Pressing the front foot into the back of the chair there. Seat on the chair. And turn. Inhale. Woo. Exhale. Slowly release the top hand. Come back to center. Stretch forward. Walk up. Bend that front knee. Whoops, take it off the chair, I told you. And let's stand. Woo! Nice, eh? Ooh. Don't you feel like you could go to a party now and dance? Good, let's take a stretch. Right. So we're going to go to the other side. Stepping this, like my other foot up on my chair for warrior. Right. So I'm going to bend into that knee now. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's the thing with using metal chairs, eh? Anyway. All right. So we're here. Back leg. Take your time and adjust this up. Arms up. Good. Take a breath. As you exhale, you're going to lean. Hold. One. Anywhere that you can hold in the chair, we're not putting the hand on the thigh unless you really have to. We're holding the chair this time, so we're going a little deeper. Alright? Inhale, the top hand can come up. It can go overhead. It can stay by the hip. So you choose. So if you're on the top 
rub of the chair. Let's stay there for a little bit so we can, the body can just respond to what we're doing and we can open up a little bit more. Right, so sternum away from the belly button. Press into the outer corner of the back leg. And then if you want to go on ahead, to deepen this, you can slide that hand down further and bend the knee a little more. Right? Open up that chest now. Press into the outer corner of the back leg. Pull up through that core. And smile. Smile and breathe. Candid camera. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Drop that top hand, slide up carefully. Listen to the sound, good. Now we're going to come forward for our reverse triangle. Organize up yourself, your hips are kind of square to the front. Okay, standing up a little bit, inhale the arms up, exhale forward. Your back hip there must come forward a little bit. And then take your, um, for me it will be my right hand, opposite hand across to the chair. Take the other hand behind your, put it on the base of the spine for the time being. And then do your little twist. So the hip on the buttocks goes back a little bit. Take that rib cage and pull it around. Keep stretching that spine. Your shoulders are down. You have that smile. I know you're smiling, right? And if, if and when you're ready, you can raise the hand up. So we are in reverse triangle. Ooh, well, I'm wobbling around in reverse triangle. So press into the back leg there. Engage the knees and the thighs. Pull that back hip. Back some more. Slowly drop that hand. Come back down. Create a little stretch here. And we're going to slowly and carefully Come away from that shape. Okay. All right. Take your chair up. Stand to one side of the chair. The leg that's on the inside, right side of the chair. I'm going to put it up onto the chair. Okay, pull this hip back, pull this hip back. Inhale, those arms up. Good. Exhale and fold. Just a little fold here. When you fold down like this, the hands are dangling. Keep this knee slightly bent and keep this thigh right back. Keep it back. Breathe in, breathe out. And slide up back. Inhale, those arms out. Inhale them up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up and look up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And release. Okay, change sides. Just easing out a little bit of what we'll stir up here. So, knee, hold the ankle here. Get onto this hip. Pulling through the core. Good. So you're at a little diagonal here. Don't try to straighten up yourself. You might hurt your back. It's a slight diagonal. Inhale those arms up. Exhale and fold. Soften the, the standing leg and just hang down like a little rag doll here. Nothing, no, no tension anywhere. Keep the leg that's on the chair back to the back of the chair there. And just dangle here. Good. Slowly wrap that up. 
Et arms out. Ooh. And left is stretching, so we can stretch with that way. <laughs> All right, release. Ooh. Shake it out. Okay, if you have a wall, I'd like you to take a chair towards that wall. Take your blanket and place it on the chair. We want some support here. You sit with your back to the chair. Got it? If you really need time to get there. Inhale, the legs are apart. And push your back into the chair. Sitting up nice and tall. Good. Take a breath, your arms are going to go up. If you want to look at me first, we're going into a back bend. So I'm going back, holding the chair, push the chair down. And this is how you're going to be. So, everybody want to get there? Let's go. If you don't have a wall, maybe you can try holding the chair, pushing the chair down so it doesn't rock with you, or put it against a piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. Inhale, arms up. Lift up your spine. We lift the spine all the way up before we bend it back. Exhale, begin to bend back. Push your back into the chair. Good. Let your hands touch anywhere on that chair that works for you. Open your mouth. This is where you can open your mouth and breathe through your mouth. When you're there, your buttocks should be pushed back. You see, you're not, you're not to listen folks. Come up to the pose a little bit for me. Let me show you. Don't have your buttocks out here, and then you're leaning back into the chair like this. Push your buttocks right back till your middle back or somewhere in there touches the back of the chair. Let's do this again. Pull up through the core. Lift your spine up. Arms up. Keep lifting the spine as you go into the back bend. Hold wherever you can on the chair. Open your mouth and breathe through your mouth. If your neck bothers you, you can do it this way with your gaze forward and you hold a chair, lift up your spine, push your spine into the chair and you don't have to lean your neck back. Okay, slowly and very carefully take one hand to the back of the skull and push your head up. Take the other hand away. Gently come forward. A little stretch here. And come back up to center. Okay, we're going to do this again, but we're going to do it with inbound angle. So, so we're going to feet together. After doing this one, if you want to adjust your blanket, or you want to put another blanket there, maybe you didn't have enough, let's do it again. So push right back into the chair. Right? So that's why we need support for the, with the wall or a piece of furniture. Pull up through the core, arms up, lift up your spine please everybody, lift it, lift it, lift it. Then you bend it back. Good. Catch where you can. Now as the soles of the feet press into each other, drop your knees down. Breathe. Let go one hand, put it to the back of your skull and lift your head up with that hand. Don't try to lift it without the hand. And release, you're going to come forward in bound angle. Lift up your spine, take your elbows and press the knees down as you lean into this. Keep the spine lifted and stretched. And slowly come back up to center. Yeah. 
I'm so calm again. Leave the chair away from the wall. Or you could leave it on the wall actually, but you'd have to go this way. Put the blanket back on the chair. Please don't think I'm crazy, folks. Come on to your forearms. One leg off the chair. I think you are. One leg up. Rest, make some fists. Press into the sides of the fist. Elbows under the shoulders and lift the chest. Keep the neck nice and long. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale. Try this, it feels amazing. Try it, try it, try it. It's not that hard. From here, slide one knee down. Slide the other knee down. Walk your knees in and push back into child's pose. Boy, nice. Hmm. I think now would be a great time to sprinkle in the soft sound inside. How about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. See if I can get back some music for you guys. Oh. And then, let's come up. Turn around. You want to do it again? <laughs> Anybody like to do it again? Please feel free to do it again. We do the left side this time. Like we said, let's do the left side this time. <laughs> That's why I look down in class, he makes me smile. All right, so if you want to do it again, go ahead. Just be very careful. For those of you who are not into doing it again, you come up, walk back, not too far away from the chair, inhale those arms up, slide back bend, exhale and fold, bend the knees, inhale look up, hold the chair gently, take your hips now, press your feet into the mat and take your hips towards the chair. So I'm going to actually Pull my feet back, see, like this. Press into the chair. Drop the shoulders down with the sternum. Neck is nice and long. Breathe. Inhale. So this is chair cobra. Exhale. Press up. Good. Push back into downward dog. So your hands are on the chair. You can do this. Bend those knees, drop the head all the way down. And come back up to center. Okay. Sit in the back on the chair just for a moment before we go back up down on the floor. Turn sideways, any side of your chair, like this. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, twist your upper body to the back of your chair and drop your hands down. You want to hold low down on the chair. Don't hold up the top because the tendency when you do that is to draw the shoulders up. So try and hold in the middle or down the bottom of your chair. Keep your knees together and your feet together. So it's just from your waist to your crown is twisting around. Don't take the, the hips with you. Hips are square to the front of the room. Upper body is uh, doing a nice little twist here, shoulders back. Gaze at the eyes up there or close them. And come back to center. Swing around to the other side. So once again, the knees stay together and the feet stay together. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist to the back of your chair, drop the hands down, drop the shoulders away from the ears, lift your sternum up, and twist. 
Open your shoulders, bring that smile to your face. Round to the ceiling, sitting bones into the chair. And release. Okay, one little last one here before we go down. Face the chair again, you have to walk with the knees back. Put your elbows on, I'm using this because I don't have a padded chair. If you have a padded chair, a dining chair or so, you don't need a, a thing here. So the elbows are close to the edge of the chair here. Walk your knees back. Take your hands to the skull, back, back of the skull there. Walk back and drop the head a little bit down so the airs are lining up with your upper arms. Press your elbows into the chair and feel the stretch all the way up into the armpits and your shoulders. You don't have to be too strong here. You, can just, you just want to feel a little bit of this. So the tailbone and the crown again moving away from each other. Breathe in, press the tops of the feet down. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, lift up your head a little bit, walk your knees in, come up on the knees, interlace the fingers behind you, pull those shoulders back, and release. We're going to come down, and put your legs on the chair. So the crease underneath the knees here will go to the edge of your chair. So draw the chair towards you. You can walk your feet off the chair if you like. Lean back. Take your arms out to the side and just let them flop over. Roll your shoulders down your back. Relax like this for a breath or two or three or four. Dropping that chin slightly down, press the shoulders into your mat. Take a nice big deep breath in and sigh it out. Ah. Mm. Just gently, very, very gently, roll your head from left to right, right to left. Mm. Gentle movements on the back of the skull. Let's take the arms up, just spread those fingers nice and wide. <coughs> Make a little soft face. You can keep your eyes closed here. You don't have to have them open. You know this exercise very well. And then just make some movements to get into your wrists, both wrists. And reverse it. Okay, open the fingers and spread them really wide now. Make some movements for your knuckles. And then take your thumb and take it across and press it into the little finger. So drop the little finger down so the thumb can press into your little finger. It reaches it and it presses in. And then take it to the ring finger. Press the thumb and the ring finger together. Just the, the tips up there, the um, tips of your fingers there. And then press it into the middle finger and the index finger. Reverse it now, go back to your middle finger, to the ring finger, press the little pads of the fingers together, and your little finger. Open the hands nice and wide again. And just let them float down the side. Now if anybody like to do relaxation just like this in, with the feet up on the chair, you can stay here. If you would like to have your Shavasana just lying in the, in the um, 
Cobb's pose, Shavasana pose, and you can just move the chair out the way. You may draw your thighs to your chest, give them a little hug. You may take another stretch or another movement that you'd like. And then we just settle down for a few minutes of relaxation. So treat yourself to a nice delicious stretch. And then releasing your hands to your sides. And your eyes are softly closed. Scan your body, check in with yourself. If you think you're holding tension anywhere, recognize it and let it go. Allow your breath to be nice and soft now, you're not controlling the breath anymore. Feeling the earth supporting you. 